Hey everyone, here are six things you need to know about Amazon PPC to be successful. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman and I talk about the world's most exciting brands and trends so that both you and I can grow our businesses faster. And today we're talking about Amazon ads, how to use them, how to be successful, what you need to know. So let's start with the first one. What types of ads are we running? Generally, we're going to be spoke focused on sponsored product ads, uh, uh, sponsored brand ads, or in some cases, product display ads. So those are the three types. Let's start with sponsored brand ads. When you do a search, let's say baby bottles, they're going to show up at the top and it's going to have a brand image, something nice, you know, probably some baby eyes or baby smiling or something like that. It's going to have a little message, a brand message, maybe your tagline or your mission or something like that. And then there's some variables you can have in there, but you can have some product listings underneath it. You know, a few products that you offer, uh, you can lead that to your brand store page, you know, so that's, that's mostly a brand building play. So uh, businesses that uh, really want to tap into new customers, maybe searching for broad things like, you know, baby bottles, but also baby products. You might want to start to test audiences and see if you can get them over to your brand page. So it's a brand building play. The next kind is sponsored products. Sponsored products are focused on a very specific product listing. Okay, so if you sell baby bottles and somebody searches baby bottles, then you want your products to show up at the top of the search results. Generally, that's gonna be right under the brand ads. They'll also appear in a few other places down the page, usually in the middle and then towards the bottom as well. And it can show up on some other related product pages as well. But those are gonna be where you're gonna make most of your sales. Your A cost is going to be lowest with your sponsored products, probably probably going to be a little bit higher with your brand uh, ads. And then the display ads are really to bring people in to, you know, into the funnel, into introducing. So kind of like brand ads, but when somebody, unlike a brand ad, when somebody searches, the brand ads are going to show in the search results. Display ads appear in all the other places on Amazon. So customer review pages, um, uh, related products pages, and they can even appear in off Amazon properties that Amazon owns, like IMDB's website. They can even appear in IMDB TV, which is a streaming platform, okay? So, but these are mostly, again, brand building and trying to introduce people to your products. So from a performance marketing standpoint, sponsored products are probably gonna be your best bet. The second thing you need to know is that when people are looking through Amazon, their pictures are catching their attention, most likely first. Okay, so you don't have a lot of flexibility when it comes to images in your sponsored product ads because it just pulls the product image, the featured image. And Amazon requires that you have a white background, that the image is clear, so there's not a lot of flexibility there. So the benefit here is if you have a really awesome product visually, you already have a leg up. But with the brand ads and the display ads, you have a little bit more creativity and flexibility. You can pick the brand picture that you know, goes on the brand ads. You can pick the... Um, the tagline that goes on there. So visually you can, you have a little bit more flexibility. So that's the first thing they look at. So make sure your images are as best and vibrant and clear as they possibly can. The third thing you need to understand is that people look at reviews. There is no way around this. The more five-star reviews you have, the more likely you are to get conversions on your ads. Now, the conundrum is when you're a new, launching a new product, how do you get reviews? Well, there's a few paid ways you can do it by launching uh, Amazon's Vine campaign where they will actually present your product to pe for people to, uh, who sign up for the Vine program and they'll try it and they'll leave reviews. You can get you know five to 10 reviews using this strategy, but it's really not gonna get you hundreds or thousands of reviews. To get thousands of reviews, you have to have a good product, right? Simple as that. But to get tens or hundreds of reviews, you can start to network with your existing customer base off of Amazon. Maybe you have an email list, maybe you have a social media channel, and really just promote to have people go purchase your product over on Amazon and ask them to leave a nice review if they do so. Rinse and repeat until you start, until you start to acquire reviews, okay? That's probably your best bet, is to really use your existing community. And if you're really strapped for uh, you know, for a community, if you're just starting your brand and you're just getting started on Amazon, you got to really think outside the box. I remember one time we, uh, with a with a client, we actually made a list of everybody that we knew uh, who 
could go buy the product and leave a good review. Now, technically, this is against Amazon's policies. You can't ask people to go buy a product and then leave a review. But we asked, we asked offline, you know, it was, we texted people, we emailed people and we said, hey, can you go buy this product? Um, if you think it's a good fit, it's a client of ours or it's our business or whatever it might be, um, gift it to somebody uh, and, and leave a good review. And some people are like, no, I don't really want it. And some people are like, sure, I'll buy it and I'll leave the review because they wanted to help. But it, it's, it's at least good for, you know, 10, 10 reviews uh, or 20 reviews or something like that. Enough to get you started, okay? Once you hit 20 reviews, if they're all five stars, that's pretty good to get that conversion, right? So reviews are very important. Okay, the fourth thing you need to understand is that people look at price. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have the lowest price, but when you have a $15 product that looks just like a $30 product and they look right, they, they're placed right next to each other in the sponsored product section, and they both have good reviews, people are generally gonna go for the 50, they're gonna click on the $15 product because they want a deal, right? That doesn't mean to say, that doesn't mean that you can't have your product more expensive, it just means that you need to rely more on your brand the value proposition, uh, your differentiation when people click on there because people will shop, right? So if one product is $30 and has a thousand five-star reviews and one product is $15 and has 200 four and a half star reviews, well, that shows that the $30 product might be a little bit better, okay? Um, and when people click into these ads, uh, you have a better chance of selling them on a higher price product. But before they click, you have to understand, $15 plus the $30, if all is equal, they're gonna click on the $15 product because people want a deal. Okay, fifth little tip here and thing for you to know is that adding a coupon can really help close the deal. It can really help with conversions. Now, you've all seen it when you go to Amazon, you search a particular product, and one of them says, like, click this box to get a 5% coupon or a $5 off coupon or something like that. In the product listing, uh, uh, the sponsored product ads, that will actually show up. But So by offering a little coupon and then running uh, sponsored product ads, putting a budget behind that, that particular listing, you can really get more conversions because people want that little deal. And if it's being shown next to other sponsored products that don't have a coupon, that's a good deal. That will get more clicks. And then finally, number six of this particular video is the negative keywords are something you do not want to shy away from. Negative keywords are basically keywords that you do not want your products to show up next to or when people are searching, okay? And this is a huge money saver because if you are selling baby bottles, that's what your product is, and somebody is searching baby bottle cleaner, like a brush, you know, baby bottle brush or something like that, that's not the product they're looking for. They're not looking for a baby bottle, they're looking for a baby bottle brush or a baby bottle cleaner. So baby bottle cleaner or baby bottle brush would be a negative keyword that you don't wanna show up for because that's a waste of money, especially if they accidentally click on it, right? So it's you wanna be highly specific. So you wanna put in all the negative keywords that you do not wanna show up for because there's too much of a risk that that person would not be interested in your product. Okay, that's it. That's my six tips or things you need to know for Amazon PPC in today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button because I come out with videos all the time about marketing and uh, sales and business development. And again, strategies that you can use to grow your business. And if you are lost in Amazon and you have no idea what you're doing, uh, go over to Google and search Good Monster Agency. That's my agency. We'd love to talk with you. Maybe we can help you out uh, or we'd be happy to just talk through your case to see if we can give you some free advice. Uh, just here to help. Okay, see you next time.